Had a good day at school, huh? They're just a plan. But don't worry, folks. Old single dad on the J-O-B. Yeah, buddy, room. Got Upa over here. Yeah, man. Are you Luto? You Luto Masarapdi ba? Yeah, man. You cooking some eggs. Padma, I see her through the window going to the Sorry Sorry store. Grandma's out there. Don't worry, ladies. Old single dad watching the babies. Mmm, Masarap. La meat. <laughs> These sweet babies. Mother of the year. Mother of the year right there. Mother of the year. Yeah, you got the fire truck, man. What you got over there, man? Getting them toys out. Now, there's mother of the year. Have any of you Filipinas wondered where the two boys were? Huh? Don't worry, cause the old single dad been watching the kids while y'all been out there doing cheesemas. It's your gift. How much that electric bill, baby? Eight thousand. Eight thousand four hundred seventy-one point seven. Eight what? Just give me the first part. Eight. Eight thousand. Four hundred seventy-one point seven. Seven. Yeah. The other month is nine thousand five hundred twelve point. Just going. Okay. Good. So we shaved off. Shaved off. Thousand, thousand pesos off the electric bill. That's a good deal. All right. Good deal. Oh, he's been over here cooking. Upao made a. Made some eggs. Hey, your big booty's in the way. I can't see. There you go. Okay. You do good job. Got Maria Mercedes on the scene now. Oh, he's a good cook. He's a good chef, Maria. He said, that's la meat. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> What's she? I'm laying on the floor, man. Now you baby's got real crackers. That's why Papa has ants in his office. If you sweet babies keep bringing cookies in here. Papa's life is so wonderful. I can't even sit down in my office chair. They got it full of toys. I tried to sit down on the plastic chair. They stole my plastic chair and put that over there. Hey. The Filipinas are still out there doing cheeses, doing it, whatever they're gonna do. See you, Daddy. I got a crack team of four Filipinas, and I'm watching three babies. Mm. I'm not complaining. Dad, I'm going so, to life is warm. These babies are gonna. Hey, you babies are gonna clean up all these toys when you get done playing. I'm not cleaning these toys up. Dad, I'm helping you watching the. Two boys. Okay, well, thank you for helping. Of course, you know, biting, son. The donuts ready. Hey, let the man. Oh, I'm helping you to go food for you. Is it gonna be delicious? Okay, go ahead. Oh, thank you, buddy. So sweet, folks. They made me a bowl of food. All right, let's come out here and see the mothers of the year. Mothers of the year, right here. I got one, two, three, four, 
Well, three. <laughs> ladies, ladies, did anybody realize that I was watching all three of the children? And nobody knew where the children were. And, and you ladies were, oh, you knew, oh, see, you knew? That's even worse. Okay, so I'm, I'm glad that you ladies enjoyed your chicken. But now that everybody has had time to relax with their dining experience, can can the foreign guy get some food? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got here, folks. Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, that's too many noodles, baby. That's too much. Scrape, yeah. scrape some more noodles in there. It's too many, too many for me. I'm trying to watch my weight here. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you very much. Alright folks, so at least after a stressful morning of baby while these beautiful four kids here continue to eat. I thought you ladies already ate, you're still eating. <laughs> at least look at that meal. Buttery noodles with uh what is this, baby? Leftover from last night? Huh? Yeah, ma oh, no, yeah. Mama cooked that too. That's fresh this morning? Yeah. Fresh fried chicken this morning? Yeah, I cooked the chicken. I'm stressed now. Hey, look at here. Kalamansi actually brought me a fork. Wow. Everyday life is improving for me, folks. Everyday life gets better. Right, so let me try the ladies' delicious buttery noodles. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. You know what makes these noodles absolutely delicious? You dip them in a little barbecue sauce and get this crab. You know the camera's shaking. This is what it is here, folks. Mm. Alright, put that. Check, check. Put that on flow. You got grease on your hands? Okay, folks, I'm trying to get these ladies to get mic'd up. But, what's this guy here selling? What's he got? Oranges? He got oranges and mangoes on a motorbike. I'm going to try to get an interview with Flo. Hey, Flo, can you put the microphone on? No, you got chicken grease all over your hands. My goodness. Everybody's got chicken grease except for me. As you've noticed, Flo hasn't been around. <laughs> well, actually, since probably one minute before I got back, she moved out. <laughs> so the minute I left and got on the bus, Flo moves in. <laughs> uh, why? Because she likes to sleep. She likes to play Facebook and become a Facebook zombie and lay no around on the couch. <laughs> okay, so... Anyhow, Flo is embraced married life, <laughs> which I'm very proud of her. Okay, she's been with uh, Upal's father. They've been operating as a family unit, and I'm so proud of her. But you know, I had I had a lot to do with it because I kicked her out. I kicked her out, but it's not because I don't love her or because I don't want her around. <laughs> The, the, the cause is I was enabling her to hang out, live the good life with the rich foreign guy, mm? Mm? lay up in the air conditioning, watch the TV, play on Facebook, and she wasn't spending time with her man. Mm? And I recognized that as a problem. I said, you know what, girl? I love you, but you got to go. So I kicked her out on the street. Mm? Mm? Nah, I'm just I, I didn't kick her out on the street. But... I realized I was enabling her not to spend time with Upal's father, and it was time for a change, right? <laughs> so, so now I've seen like a, a, a good progression uh, of her being a mother to Upal. She's like blooming. I think that's the word. I, she, she's blooming. Bloom a mimi. So, so I just thought I'd ask Flo a few questions here. How how are you enjoying like married life, like you know, being a family? I'm enjoying. 
It's okay? You're enjoying it? <laughs> or are you only saying that because your husband is a subscriber? <laughs> <laughs> I know! <laughs> My God. <laughs> He's also our, uh, our Tesla chopper driver. If you only figured it out. Okay, Upal's father is... He's a gentleman who uh, was the butcher of the pig, right? You've seen him in, in passing in the videos. But anyhow, he's driving an electric trike now. So now he drives uh, the babies back and forth to school on the e-trike instead of Kapim Mayan in the big trike. Okay. So anyhow, I'm proud of Flo. She's blooming. 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 She gave up her... Hey, Maria, can you sit down a little bit so sit down everybody down. can... I tell you what, why don't you come over here, sweetie? Yeah. Come over here, please. Sit by Papa. Stress, I, mga ikag na ang Maria. Your backsides in the way, block them the view. Come on over here. There you go. Sit by Daddy. Nah. <laughs> so anyhow, she had to. Boris G. Boris. Oh, Valentine. Please sit down. Dajen, pakuha ko na kaya tayo. Dajen, pakuha na sa tayo. Thank you, sweetie. Now, Forrest G, you came over here and stole the truck. That wasn't nice, but thank you for understanding, sweetie. Well, oh, back to the interview. Yeah. So, anyhow, she had to give up her single party lifestyle, being yeah. being the, the yeah. debutante over at her college. And and now she's uh, operating as a family unit. I'm very proud of her. Mama, Mama, how are you? Got Grandma on the scene here. Sit down, sit down there, Grandma. Take a break. Folks, every morning, Grandma, well, actually, me and Grandma, we get up about the same time now. I have 5.30. Uh, I was getting up at 6, and I'm getting up earlier and earlier. So me and Grandma are up at the crack of dawn, 5.30. Sweet babies, y'all have trashed my office. Please stay outside and play for a little bit. Force G. Welcome to this family. <laughs> Y'all see the stress on Monday here, my friends? <laughs> this is the real family. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to, yeah, you want to see real life? I'm just letting the camera run. This is the real. Flo, don't get chicken grease on that DJI mic. I saw you touching it. Maria, don't let him go outside there. You want to see the real? This is, okay, this is the real. Some, some, someone in the chair, someone in the... <laughs> No, you see, do like this, do like that. This is real. Yeah, welcome to real life in the Philippines. Somebody at least, the ball. at least in my world. Making the world. This is not fake. Yeah, ain't nothing, ain't nothing fake here. Uh, Forshi, could you please move off the table, son? Down, 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 down. down. Come on, son. Come sit down, please, buddy. Sit down right here, man. Get in the red chair. There you go. Good job, son. Thank you. More sit down, please. Here, you want some chicken? You want some chicken? Okay. The point of this was to interview Flo about family life, but she's nibbling on a chicken bone over there. How's that? How's that bone? Pretty good? Yeah. It's not salty. Okay, well, when you finish nibbling all the meat, just give the bone to your sister. She'll finish it off. And ladies. <laughs> ladies, there, there, was a, there was a fight this morning. Kalamansi and Fatima were fighting. Were you ladies fighting over chicken bones? What was the fight over? Yeah, I think Miljean started it. Kalamansi started the fight. Uh, I, I don't even know. I said, ladies, no fighting until next week. We're going to fight next week. Flo, can I ask you some more questions about how things going in your life here? Huh? Okay, so tell us, how is, how is school? How is school going? <laughs> doing good. I'm almost third year. Oh, my God. So... Uh, this will be the completion of your second year. Yeah. This um, two months, uh, almost June is the last. Okay. So, Did folks, uh, uh, crack team of Filipinas, can somebody get the boy? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down here. Here. Sit Good down. Good job. Good job, Flo. Uh, 
So you're almost halfway finished with college. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's um. quite a milestone, folks. She's only a couple months. She'll be on a downhill slope, graduating <laughs> college, which leads us into a wonderful question. When you graduate, what are your plans? Mañana, <laughs> thinking. So what I'm thinking is either call center or OFW. No? Because, folks, look. Flo speaks English very well. She can pass a test to work at a call center. Or she could go be an OFW. Uh, out of all these ladies around, hey. <laughs> There's a photo bomb on my show here. <laughs> you see, you see the stress on mother. Anyhow, I was, I was trying to talk about flow here. She can go and do anything she wants. She's very proficient in English, good at spelling, the computer work, everything. So I just assumed that she would either go down to Cebu City to a call center or be an OFW. Is that your plans or no? Then what's your plans? <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> or you know you're not gonna tell. It's okay. You don't have to tell if you don't want to, but if you're not familiar, folks, call centers around here in this country pay higher wages, typically. Uh, and to work at a call center, you have to be very good at English because most of the call centers are are catering or servicing or have contracts with the, the U.S., you know, the U.K., the English-speaking world. So if somebody can speak English very well, they can easily go work at a call center. I say easily. They can go work at a call center and, and make more money than they would if they, say, went to the SN. What's what's the starting salary at a call center in Cebu City? Do you know? Depends in the site because before I go in the IT park, which is the teleperformance, I guess they offer for, for the first time they offer a twelve or above twelve above or 15. so at least twelve. Yeah, at least above. twelve starting out. Yeah. But you need to to do a training first before the. On okay, so let's reflect back right before the lockdown. Okay, right before the lockdown, you actually went to Cebu City yeah. and interviewed for some jobs. Yeah. And you actually got hired? Yeah, for the training. But <laughs> uh, the next day, it will be locked down. COVID. Talk, <laughs> talk about bad luck. Yeah. The girl went down to Cebu City, did these interviews got a job offer, <laughs> about to go to training, and boom, the lockdown, and then it changed her her path. But the way it changed your path is that you ended up, now you're in college. So if you if, if it weren't for the lockdown, you would be working at a call center down in Cebu City. You never would have went to college. So the lockdown changed her stars. Now she's almost two years <laughs> completed college. Two more to go, and then... Whatever, whatever she's gonna do, that's up to her. Hot mama, go in the bar, joke. You gonna go work in the bar? You gonna win the hot mama contest? High, high salary. Now, Flo, they, they they would hire you at yeah. the bar, and I'll tell you why because because you do have some twerking skills. And no, no, I've seen your twerking skills. Your, your sister has absolutely zero <laughs> dance skills. Nobody will hire her. <laughs> hey, Force G. Hey, Come here, baby. Get Come off that here. FX3. Son. <laughs> hey, it's not a jungle gym, man. Force G sees that tripod as a jungle gym. <laughs> okay. Uh, can, we, can, can we continue the interview here? <laughs> Ma, excuse. All right, and I think she's joking about working in the bar, but I don't know because she does have twerking skills. Just a skills. joke. Or... <laughs> nah, she, she's not working the bar, folks. If, if she was gonna work the bar, she'd be in a bar. She wouldn't be spending two years in school. Okay. Not too many girls on the pole got a four-year degree. Trust me. So, 
All right, what else can we talk about, Flo? Everybody wants to know about Flo. Everybody <laughs> misses Flo every day. Can I get her FB? Can I blah, blah? I mean, I understand that people fall in love with her. She's a beautiful girl, especially after I did that video, <laughs> showcased her beauty. But but folks, seven, two years. <laughs> what? What's that? <laughs> so I'm getting some mixed signals here. Okay? I'm congratulating you on being the family woman now. But you're throwing feelers out there. I don't know. I, I think everybody's too late to the party. She's settled down now, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You have to check. You have to check Filipino Cupid to see if she's still online and ready to chat. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Filipino Cupid. Only cherry blossom. Okay, so. Cherry <laughs> blossom. Oh, sorry. Half of this is just joking, but half half of it. I, I'm not real sure. <laughs> Force G, you know how much noise that fire truck makes on my audio? It's okay, son. You make all the noise you want. Alright, Flo, what else? What else is going on? Nothing. Okay, let me ask you a real, a real serious question here. Force G, son, that's very noisy. Can you be a little bit more quiet with your fire truck? Thank you. Okay. Now, I have a theory that you can smell chicken frying from five <laughs> kilometers away. It, 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 no, I, I'm with that when we, uh, I was here. Okay. She chat me. Okay. So I, I go been, with her in school because Morris is not in the mood. Okay. Now, I've been calling her breakfast girl because she always shows up at breakfast, but she's also the lunch girl and the supper girl, right? <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out, how do you know? I mean, it's like two minutes before they get done cooking. And I think what's happening, I think Fatima is sending her a text. Your Honor, there is a chicken here. <laughs> okay, so the truth comes out. So big, big sister's taking care of little sister. She's sending her a message, hey, we got chicken. <laughs> I mean, she chat me that she want me to go with her in the school because Forrest G is not any good mood. But when you go in, huh? Huh? And I appreciate that. Well, you, <laughs> well, you, yeah, you do owe me 50 pesos from editing that video yesterday. And folks, she had this project, Malina over here. She, she had this. She had this project to interview grandma and grandpa about their marriage, yeah. their relationship. How's this marriage? So she used the camera. She used the uh, the action cam, right? And I should have set it down to like 1080, 24 frames, so the file size would have been lower. But I wasn't thinking. I hand her the camera. It's shooting 4K 60. She does these interviews, it's a huge file. Their phones are, they can't handle the file sizes, right? So she's like in panic mode. She puts the word into Calamansi. Can, can, can you and Marcos edit? Can Marcos no, edit my video? I, I'm editing also the hard, for the hard copy. So There's hard copy and there is a video. I, I need to put there the, the what, what, I, what is the questions, what, what they gonna answer the question. So there's more to it. Yeah, hide coming. Okay, so. Here, here, here. Here's the picture. So at first. Look for it. Look for it. Look for it. Look for it. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. picture. Mommy, no, no. Smile. Good job. So the class photo oh my turned out real well. Where she's actually smiling. Look at that camera. 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 I don't, I don't film or post anything from their school. No, everybody else does. All the ladies post everything, but uh, I just, I just don't do it. I'd, I'd, I'd have to get everybody's permission before I did. But trust me, that's the cutest photo, and he's just looking straight at the camera. So absolutely. He's smiling. 
Okay. Before I was interrupted by a Fatima. So anyhow, at first I said, tell her to edit her own video. She knows how to edit video on her phone. <laughs> and then she said, hey, she can't download the footage. It's too, it's too big. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, it's my fault. I, I, I set her up for failure, but not intentional. I just, you know, I, I filmed 4K 60 or 4K 30. So, so, okay, back to what I was saying. I, I felt guilty because I, I didn't drop the resolution. I, oh, okay, we'll edit your video, right? <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know what they're looking for, right? But this one does. So we sit down and we edit this really funny question and answer session with Grandma and Grandpa, right? Nine Nine Tai Tai. But she knows that it's for class, and so she cut out all the funny parts <laughs> and so the finished product is like four or five minutes and it's professional right they cut out all the the horse play and the funny stuff and, and, and I understand he cut why. also the one that Tate and mama cry because of the answer yeah so that's she, touching it, uh, well I thought it was touching too but I, I don't know so she she's responsible <laughs> for the product <laughs> So I said, you know what? I'm going to make my own version to share with y'all because it's pretty funny. It's just her asking relationship questions. Because they've been married for how many years? I think my almost almost 40 years. 35. Yeah. No. 35. 35. Like 35 40. years. Like that. 35. I'm not. Kalimut ko kay. Kasada sila 18 La. La. Alisa. So anyhow, they're, they're in the interview, they're like horse playing, they're laughing, yeah, Grandma started crying. So I'm going to chop my own version, I'm going to share it with you, because I, th I thought it was funny. And it's all in Bisaya, but I'll have to put some subtitles, some subtitles on there, right? Uh, anyhow, I, told her, I told her not to cut the, the one up there. They're smiling, laughing, and they're crying, because it's... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's touching, yeah. Yeah. Well, if you want to, we can we can fix it up if you want to. Yeah. Since you're here, we can go back in and fix it up. Yeah. <laughs> but my version, for for you, the viewer, I'm leaving all that stuff in there because it's funny. <laughs> Anyhow, so I told her, I said, you owe me 50 pesos for editing yesterday. So this morning, of course, she wasn't, wasn't in a good mood. And they needed him to sit still in that class <laughs> photo. Fatima said, yeah, oh, you got to come with me. I said, baby, I got to run this this premiere. So I said, just get your sister on the line, get her to help you, and she did. So she went this morning, <laughs> helped out. And the class photo, I don't know what you ladies did, but it's so cute. It just turned out perfect. Because you have a nips. <laughs> you got him some nips? Yeah, I go into 7-Eleven and walking. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the key to Forrest G, right? <laughs> Well, tell him why he was mad. Why was he mad when because he Because the canteen is not open. The canteen, the little <laughs> snack bar. The canteen was closed. He keep, he, keep like, he keep doing like that, the, the lock of the canteen. <laughs> because he want to open it, but it's locked. That's, that's, that's why he keep, he keep going. That's why he got mad. Crying. His first step when he gets to school, straight to the canteen. And, you know, it's breakfast time. They have pancakes. A lot of times he'll get them a pancake or popcorn, you know, some type of snack. That's what he looks forward to. So he gets there today, gets there today, the canteen is closed. That's not a good day because it's out of his routine. He, you know, he didn't get his snack. So this one had to go to 7-Eleven, get him some nips. That's like M&Ms, right? Like mm. chocolate covered peanuts yeah. or something. Nips, it's like cheap M&Ms. But that's what he loves. That's his uh, snack of choice right now. Right, Bud Rowe? <laughs> Well, good job. You got the, got the job done. I'm going to print that photo out hanging up on the wall. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice because he's smiling. Yeah, smiling, it's looking so at cute. the camera. <laughs> it's challenging sometimes to get a good photo, especially a thumbnail with all this crew. It's hard enough to get these ladies to look at the camera at the same time. I'll probably take 15 or 20 snaps. And usually what I have to do is just pull a screenshot from the video because there'll be one looking this way, one with their eyes closed, and of course she's always looking... <laughs> You know, uh, anyhow. All right, what else can you add, Flo, since I'm trying to focus on you? 
we keep going off topic here. What else is going on in your world? Is everything okay? Yeah. <laughs> I know you miss being here at the ranch, right? You miss living the, the Hollywood lifestyle. Camera in your face all the time, being a superstar. Superstar. <laughs> It's a Hollywood. <laughs> oh, you're Hollywood, baby. But now, now you've kind of quietened down with the family life, you know. <laughs> you gotta make more. You gotta make more cameo appearances. Hey, buddy, come huh? over here, man. Are you? Are you have up here, buddy. Roll. What you doing, man? You want some noodles? You want a piece of chicken? No, pa TV daw to dito. Na TV na man ato ngatun na TV na na TV ato na TV ngatun na mami. Sweet boy. <laughs> yeah, so, all right, well, I'll stop asking you questions. I know the viewers got a million questions. Where's Flo? Where's Flo? Where, what happened to Flo? Why Flo's not around? Huh. Ask question and I will answer it. No, joke. <laughs> joke. Okay, well, folks, you want, you want her to answer any questions? Leave them in the comments. The next time she, she comes over, I'll mic her up and she's got to answer the questions. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> oh, hey, check this out. Uh, tonight, are we making squid tonight? I think we're making squid tonight, baby. You want to come eat? Squid. Got some squid. I have class. I think they're going to make squid adobo. Oh, you got class tonight. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll let you know how it tastes. <laughs> Leftover. <laughs> we'll save you some leftovers. They're going to cook squid tonight. No, it's not fresh. It's frozen, but it looked pretty good. I think they're going to do half squid adobo, but I told them... Pants it? Squid pants it? Okay, well, y'all can argue out. Y'all can argue it about what you do with 50%, but 50% is for me. Nobody's paying attention to me. The foreign guy requests 50% to be fried and breaded, or I can dip it in my ketchup. Ah, like a container. So half fried and half whatever you ladies want to do. What do you call that? Yeah, let them fight it out. Grandma, are you giving that rice thing a massage over there? <laughs> I don't know if this is in frame or not, but she's over there. Scratching records with the Practice. rice thing, trying to get it to come down. I want the rice. When I should. I I want the rice. Grandma, did, did you ever consider that maybe it's it's empty? Honey, is the rice thing empty? I'll show Grandma how to massage that thing and get the rice. And see if she can get a tune out of that trombone. I think there's an obstruction in there. No, it's not broken. There's probably a toy in there. Reach in there and see if there's a toy in the back. This little rice hopper, you got to push the drawer in. It's like spring loaded, so if you push up against the spring, it comes down. They've either broken it or there's a toy in there or something. Bring it over here, baby. Let Big Daddy show everybody and I'll try to fix it. That's a big one. That's a Bring it over here. Let me let me show everybody what I'm talking about. It's out of frame. All right, folks. This is called a rice barrel. Or I call it a rice hopper. But the, the name of this thing is called a rice barrel. It's like a trash can. But, you know, put the rice in the top. Take a look in here. Well, it looks like there's some type of toy in here. That might be obstructing things. Well, if you put that in there, how can the rice, how can the magical rice drawer? Now, now this is magic, okay? Let's get this little drawer, all right? You've never seen a rice hopper. And you push it in here. There you go. Now you got to hold it in. That's all you got to do is hold it in. Ah, no. All you got to do is hold it in until it stops. Pull it out. Voila. Like magic, there's rice there. What you ladies aren't doing is exercising patience. So let me demonstrate. <laughs> Can you take the obstruction back out of the rice barrel? Let me show you again. Okay, let me demonstrate, ladies. 
real Eating nicely. Watch, watch this. Ready? Push. You hear the rice fall? What on it be? Pull it out. There you go. There's rice. But if you leave the toy in there, honey, it's gonna block the flow of the rice. I don't have patience for that. <laughs> well, I should have just bought a trash can it's, instead of buying this complicated rice dis distribution device made by NASA. I should have just bought a trash can. You could have used that scoop. But your little scoop is what's obstructing the rice. See the stress I'm under here? The ladies are into other things. I'm left to eat my noodles and my fried chicken. Mm. Absolutely delicious. That chicken's like extra, extra crispy. She really fried up the skin. It's like a chicken chicharron. Mm. A little chewy on the inside. Not exactly the crunch I was going after, but absolutely delicious. All right, folks, let me show you what we're blessed with tonight. We've got some frozen sweet corn. We've got big old you me French to, fries. You want me to get another one? This? Yeah, get one more. And then pull Ma, it. What's that right there, baby? What do we got here? Crab. Crab flavored nuggets. nuggets. Is this uh, is this imported from Denmark? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> it looks like it's got Korean writing on it. Is that Korean? I don't know what Chinese. Oh Lord, that's even worse. Please tell me it's from Korea. Hi Korea, baby. We need them fresh out of China. Ladies, it don't matter. We're gonna eat it. Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam. Indonesia. Ambo, they have Chinese. They have so. Uh, they have Korean. They have Vietnam. Yeah. 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 Malaysia. Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's an international crab. You know why? What? Only the only the best for you, ladies. Ladies. Last night, last night you had pork imported from Denmark. And tonight, tonight you got international seafood, baby. Okay, but what I'm concerned about is exactly what is the nugget made out of? Made of crab. No, it says a crab flavored nugget. Does that mean it's a chicken nugget? Is it chicken? Crab flavored nugget. So, but maybe it's a chicken nugget flavored with crab. Let's take a gander of what we got going on here. It looks like chicken. What's up, man? What's up, tempura? Tempura. It looks like tempura. Oh, what's your legacy, crab? Tempura, crab. Oh, I smell. It's crab. But it's tempura, right? It, lo it looks like tempura. Okay, it don't matter. But listen, ladies, it's international mystery meat. It's mystery yeah, seafood. You want the smell? No, I don't. I don't need to smell. It. I'll take your word for it. Ah, uh, no, no, thank you. So the jury's still out on exactly what this is. We'll try to get in closer here into this conversation. Hey, what exactly is this? Made in Vietnam, a product of Vietnam. All right, Malaysia. Malaysia. All right, long as it didn't, long as it didn't come out of Wuhan, we're gonna eat it. Let's get it on, ladies. Ain't no time like the present. Yeah, fire it up, baby. Fire it all up. We eating high on the hog tonight. I gotta redeem myself after that imported pork liver from Denmark. Apparently, Denmark's got a lot of good pork, but 
we didn't we didn't pick the right can folks she's cooking once again in the lodge six quart double dutch oven that piece of gear right there is made in america by the good folks down in south pittsburgh tennessee my friends Forrest G loves wearing black and white striped shirts. Now that's his sister's, but he's also got his hands on one of his mother's shirts that he loves to wear. Ladies, what y'all doing to the fries? It looks like there's more ice in there than there are potatoes. <laughs> That's the cheap ones from Prince. If it's one kilo of fries, it's about half a kilo of fries and one or half a kilo of water. Now they'll be melted. You put them in here in the bucket? Okay, well we got sweet corn and we got squid, right? All right. All right, what are we doing here, ladies? Get the, get the snow. Get the snow? Yeah. Snow. You have snow in here. In the Philippines. So what are we gonna call these? Snow fries? What is it? I mean every time that we bought these fries, they got snow in there. Comes with a free pound of snow. No oh, baby, they, like you said, that's snow. That's excessive. You want to make a snowball? Go right ahead. Make a snowball. I dare you. Right now. Go ahead. Make a snowball. If I can mind dreaming about going somewhere where it's cold today. She wants to go see snow. There's your snow right there in these french fries. It's called the Prince Snowball brand. Yeah, make a snowball and throw it at Fatima. Then she'll be happy. Go ahead and hit her with it. Look at this crew, folks. My crack team of Filipinas going to work on my cooking table. And ladies, I have requested that half of that squid be fried and battered. Is that your intentions? Yeah. Okay, good. And then you're gonna make squid adobo? No. What you gonna make? You just fry the like apple. You're tired to another, I don't know. I'm tired to cook another dish. So much water in there, folks. She had a, had a mini explosion. She was holding that piece over, and it dripped, and that thing popped. You gotta go easy, baby. We're gonna have a grease spot. You gotta be careful, folks, if you buy the Snowball brand in French. Everybody's standing back. That's the problem when you buy cheap stuff, folks. So much water content.
Maybe you can keep gutting that bag like we gut that pee. <laughs> what does it smell like? Smell good or no? I don't know if that's a yes or a no, folks. Only frozen. Maybe. Come with free snow. She's still not done. That's the last of my body's snowball fries. All right, how's that squid look? Still a little bit frozen. A lot of ice in that bag too. I don't think this squid's gonna win any awards, but we're gonna make the best of it. Does it smell fresh? Smell frozen fresh? Or smell old? Secret. <laughs> Got about a half a kilo of ice in this one. That's how they cheat you. Just keep adding water. Keep adding ice, fellas. You gotta cut costs. Discussion. Is it squid or what is it? Or is it a squid like substance? Alright, baby, just preliminary. What do you think about the squid? It's good or no good? Slowly. 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 Old single dad has detected that our son ran off with some uh, detergent there. Now he's put it into the washing machine. Is it is it crab flavored chicken nuggets, or is it some type of crab in there? Is that? Huh? I like the taste. Good, no good, or delicious? Delicious? No, not totally delicious. It's good. For me, it's delicious. All right, I got one delicious and one good. All right. Are you on some? Forest G. Try it. Some. Um, good now. I'll try a piece of that tempura. I want some. Mama, can you let her, little mama, give her a little taster? See if she likes it. Yeah, it's hot. Is it good?
You got to already. So you, you ladies are going to nibble all the crab crunchy nuggets. We've got two dancers here. <laughs> Easy ladies, no fighting. There's too much fighting in this morning. Is, did you let Grandma try one of those tempura? What you think, Grandma? Is it delicious? Delicious. All right, so I got two delicious and one good. Yummy. All right, good deal. bag of squid when we picked it up. It looks like a big old bag of squid. But I'm going to tell you, and this is stating the obvious, you buy any cheap frozen stuff here in the Philippines, it's got so much water and ice in it. I think it's 50% water, 50% ice and 50% product. So it's very, very misleading, like a you know bag of potato chips I was cooped up. There's only a few chips in there. Well, it's the same with this. Yes, I know there's water in every frozen good, but it's just excessive. There's like blocks of this ice. This is expensive, bro. 400 plus. Yeah, it's definitely not worth what we pay for. I do not recommend it. Would have done better going over to the market. <laughs> All right, folks. I want to show y'all what we're blessed with tonight. We are blessed with an absolute feast. All right, buddy, let's go sit down, man. Let me show you what we're working with here. I think Maria's already dug in a little bit. Well, we got corn, squid, some type of crab bites, uh, snowball French fries. Look at that corn. Isn't the presentation in these little blue bowls just so cute? The lids are so cute. Calamansi coming in with some ketchup right there. And it is a ketchup night. Luckily we are fat on ketchup. Everything is fried. It's a fish fry night. And that's the, the top to the large six course. Whoa, but a rope. All right, buddy. Let's sit down and eat, man. Yeah, folks, we're certainly blessed. Thanks to you, the viewer, watching our show. Thanks to you commenting, hitting them thumbs up. Everything you do for us here on our show. You make all this happen, we certainly appreciate it. We appreciate you. We're one happy family tonight. And even got some ice. Where'd you get the ice, ladies? Stop. All right, awesome. Or is that the ice that come out of them french fries? from the store man grandma's coming in with the barbecue sauce i didn't i didn't got her loving barbecue sauce now awesome all right folks i'm gonna sign off and just say thank y'all for watching hope y'all have a wonderful evening wherever you're at on this beautiful planet we call the earth
But it's time to eat, my friends. But let me ask the ladies. Ladies. Okay, ladies. L let me just say a few words here. Listen. Last night, you ate the imported pork from Denmark, right? And now you're... Now you're eating international seafood imported from Vietnam and Malaysia. How do you feel? Do you feel special? Cause you, cause I want you ladies to know you deserve nice things. All right, everybody, say goodbye to, goodbye to our viewers and good night. Ladies, that was less than uh, spectacular. Folks are hungry. They're hungry. They're starving. <laughs> They're starving. So I'm gonna go eat. I'm out of here. Hey, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's just a day in the life. I don't know what I'm gonna entitle the show, but that was a slice of my day letting the camera run here on the ranch here in the Philippines. So I will give an honest assessment about International Seafood Night. It was a big fail. Yes, ma'am. What you want, sweetie? Pen? Can I have a red pen? Yes, ma'am. You sure can. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Got Marie in here. Working on a picture or something. She's a great artist, folks. She draws me pictures. My goodness. I'm making a card for Chase. Oh, she's making a card for one of her classmates. Hey, Force G. You're naked. <laughs> hey, boy, go get some shorts on, man. You in your birthday suit. Just got out of the shower, I reckon. Okay, anyhow, let me tell myself about International Seafood Night. <laughs> I guess I should call it International Frozen Seafood Night. It was another big fail. I mean, I'm zero for two on trying to impress the ladies, you know, changing up the meal at night. Hey, it is what it is. You know, I just swung the bat with the imported pork. No good. The international frozen food. They should call it imported frozen ice. Should be a uh, seafood flavored bag of ice. That's what it is. You really like seafood, but you need some ice for your cocktail. <laughs> you go over there and buy that. You get about 80% ice sprinkle in with a little bit of international seafood. The squid stank so bad and it was so chewy. It was like chewing on a piece of rubber. That crab slash tempura stuff. Still don't know what I ate. The corn. My gosh, that corn was like eating uh, ground up tires. I've never, I've never, I, don't, I didn't know corn could be that rubbery, but it was. So I have to be honest, you know, two days. The ladies still rated the meal as a good, you know, we, we do no good, which means it's not edible. Good, which means, okay, you can eat it, but it's not delicious, and then delicious. It was like three rankings. So they rated it a good only, which means it ain't good. So there you go. I t I'm telling on myself for two days, I've disappointed myself and my crack team of Filipinas, but just trying to change things up. There you go. There's an honest assessment. Today is what, Friday? I think I'm just uh, enough of the experimentation of canned goods and frozen goods. Forget that. Meat and vegetables. Meat and vegetables from the market or, or what have you. That's it. Meat and vegetables. Don't worry, little lady. I'll fix their wagons. Is that you, John Wayne? That's my If you hear the baby crying, that's not mine. That's not my crew of kids here. That's next door. Woke up this morning, I heard dogs barking, birds chirping. And even heard cows mooing this morning. It's so funny because there's cows all over here, but you can never find hamburger meat at the market. Where do these cows go? Where can I find the end point of these beautiful cows walking around here so I can get some fresh hamburger meat? 
What do they export all these cows to China? It's a mystery. I think you know what I'm gonna do? Put a couple air tags on some of the neighbor's cows and we'll follow them and see where they go. Be a good idea. And I'll figure out where I can get some fresh hamburger meat at the market. All right, enough, I'm out of here. See y'all on the next one. Bye bye guys. Oh, so sweet Maria. Peace out my friends.